Hogwarts Legacy is already a great game to begin with, but what would we like to see being added as a DLC or simply as patches or improvements to the game? Now I made a list and I want to have a discussion on this topic. Are you still enjoying Hogwarts Legacy? If you missed out on my big review video, make sure you watch that also after this one. Now the first thing that comes to mind that I would like to see them add at some point would be a sense of time so that you can see what time it is in game, what time of day it is for immersion purposes also. So far we have a day and night cycle but that is pretty much it. Certain quests and collectibles are locked behind being a day and night thing such as collecting the demigods statues. Now you can already skip between day and night in the map menu. Some people <laughs> still don't know about that one. Also another point to be made, there are currently no curfew to the school. There is no sleep schedule, you don't have to go to your dormitory to sleep and you know curfew and all of that. I mean sneaking around the school at night has no impact on any school points, you don't get grounded, you're not losing points to your house, there's nothing actually. I heard that this was a cut content, I'm not sure if that rumor is true but I heard that rumor, that they they were initially going to have a curfew system and that you had to sneak around in the night in the school. I don't know if that is true but at least that is not in the game as of right now. But I would like to see at least the opportunity to sleep in your own bed. <laughs> Now the next thing that I would like to see them add, and I would like this pretty soon actually, and that is a way to sell several items at once. I have seen this plenty of times in other games where you can actually highlight the items that you want to sell. Also like just a button that says sell all low level items, because you pick up a lot of gear in this game and you equip the best gear obviously. But selling them off can take some time and I mean like it shouldn't be too hard to implement such a thing so... I would like to see that happen. Okay, so here's a big one. Multiplayer. I don't think personally that they will do multiplayer in this game, but I think it could be fun. Imagine inviting someone over to your world and you can explore this game together and fly on your brooms together in the world. Imagine adding a lot of world bosses that you can invite some friends over at into your world and defeat them together with separate loot, of course. And you can help out with finding field guide pages and solving puzzles and stuff. I mean, just having fun around in this world together with friends so that would be very fun no doubt to that but that poses the question how would they do it with the main story quests tons of games has done this before and I'm sure they would figure out that but I don't think they will to be honest Now the next thing that I would like to say are several quality of life features. One of them would be a green or red arrow pointing up and down on the gear actually in the inventory of the gear so that I could more quickly see if some gear I have is better and what is worse than what I'm currently wearing. You can kind of already see such arrows when you are deciphering gear so I mean put that actually in the gears menus as well. Just the quality of life feature thing. I mean, and also while we are at it, make it an option to have the minimap in a fixed position. I don't like it when it spins around. I'm the kind of person that likes to have my minimap fixed with north pointing up, okay? Also, would love to see the ability to pause cutscenes. They are unpausable as of right now, and that makes no sense because, I mean, we have a real life sometimes when we just have to pause, whatever, if you have kids, sort of. Thing. You cannot pause the cutscenes. That should not be hard to put into a patch. And also the option to mark collections as red. It takes a lot of time to go into every single thing in the collections and you know hover over them so that they no longer glow up and that sort of thing. And a lot of people has also mentioned photo mode. I think this game is too beautiful to not have a photo mode. Imagine all the photos that people could do in this game. Tons of opportunities missed opportunities so that is with not having a photo mode right now. 
Next up, I would like to have more consequences. I can lockpick any door. I can go into people's homes at night. Even when children are in bed and stuff, I mean, there are no consequences to anything that you do in the game. Already went over that we don't have a curfew at the school. But I mean, I would like NPCs to point out, what are you doing in my house in the middle of the night? And also being seen stealing food and drinks and nobody cares. Now in Skyrim, if you sneak into someone's homes, they are gonna tell you that you shouldn't. And also in Skyrim, you actually had to sneak down and not be seen by anyone when you were lockpicking doors and stuff. I mean, you already have sneaking in this game with the invisibility spell and also invisibility potions. I think this is a missed opportunity. Now we could also push it further and have a law system. Now, I don't necessarily see you being put in jail if you are breaking the law or something, but I could see how they could implement it into being some sort of punishment that you get with uh, house points being taken away from your house. Basically, what I'm saying is that you have no penalty for anything in this game. Would be fun to see some consequences. I would also like to add the ability to add more map markers on the map. You can currently only highlight one point on the map, one marker. Now in Forspoken you could track five things, I think, and that was so satisfying. So that I could plan my way on the map for the collectible things and it just made more sense and it was more convenient. Now I have to open the map for every single thing that I want to, you know, check out and do. Often you just find stuff that you know that you want to go back to later. Maybe you don't have the necessary spell to do a certain quest or puzzle in the world and you know you want to get back to that. Customizable map markers would do it. I think a huge opportunity for a great DLC content to this game would be to put that train station to use. Now I could see the possibilities to add new huge locations that you could travel to using this train. Maybe go to some big cities, maybe go to London for an entirely new storyline going on or something like that. The story could be like there are someone evil doing something evil and you have to do something. Also I see opportunities for DLCs to be adding more areas to the continent like they did in, for example, Horizon Zero Dawn. They just added more to the already map. Now, what would you guys like to see being added to this game? Are you still enjoying it? Leave your comment down below and I will read them all. If you hit like on this video, that would mean a lot to me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying Hogwarts Legacy as much as I do. Check out my other videos on this channel. Subscribe if you are new. <laughs> And I will see you later.